Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Deathcraft. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually over here. Uh, I just came from uh, where DPG's base used to be. Uh, there's a jungle over there. And I was over there with my digital miner. Um, I was looking for uh, topaz. Oh yeah. Uh, it's the last piece I need uh, for the... Uh, the promised land because uh, that's where I want to go that's what I want to do um, because I want some uh, sky stone yeah uh, I figured get some sky stone throw it on the bottom of the ball the sphere the thing <laughs> and see how it looks I figured it'd probably look a bit better but well, like it can't look worse than the glass was looking so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I just all I needed was uh, the topaz. I had all the other ones. Um, and topaz, you can find it in like uh, jungles, uh, rainforests, uh, like the the tropical, like the tropics, the tropical rainforest. The you know all those different kinds of places. Uh, so that's why I went to the jungle. Um, I was actually going to go to the jungle where it's like, I don't know, a couple thousand, like a thousand, fifteen hundred, that direction. Um, like much further than where I went. Uh, where the, uh, god, load. Uh, where the end portal is. But, yeah, I happened upon the one right where DPG used to live. And... So let's see, if we come in here, we toss that in there. Uh, a couple more did get pulled in. So let's see. Oh, by the way, uh, Topaz, you can't actually uh, program the digital miner to look for just... Well, I couldn't figure out how to tell the digital miner to look just for Topaz, so I just told it to look for ore and then waited for Topaz to come through. Yeah. Uh, if it didn't come through, I'd have had quite a wait. <laughs> uh, but I think it only spawn like, generates, you know, at a certain level. So if it would have got, you know, if it would have started getting something like copper or something, I would have just, said, said, you know, said stop. I think, yeah, because copper generates, like, 30 and 30 to 60 or something. So, yeah. All right, so what we want to make is the staff. This guy here. And so we need the ancient staff handle. Boom. Got it. And the ancient staff pole. Got it. And then the ooh, the ancient staff topper. Yeah, I had to kill some withers, but you know, such is life. Ancient staff topper. Ha ha ha. And then blam. Got it. Oh, suck it. I kinda wish this thing had a different you know, had more uses, or, you know, like, more different uses, I guess you could say. Uh, and I am going to take the digital miner. I'm going to see if I can tell the digital miner to grab Skystone. Or maybe I'll just tell it, just grab everything. <laughs> uh, I am going to quarry it, because like I say, I want to... Uh, oh, I didn't even show this. Wow. Um, People suggested doing... Uh, a volcano, and people suggested doing the nether. Like a nether biome and a volcano biome, so I did a nether volcano biome. <laughs> I thought it would look kind of cool. Um, let me know what you think about that. Uh, <laughs> about that volcano. Um, it's just a little guy. Just a little guy. Just a little git. A little git of a volcano. Um, but there will be stuff in it, as you can see, going in here. Ha ha ha. Aw, oh, suck it. Uh, these sides you can't go in or out. Uh, they're just there for the glass and to look like uh, the abyssal from the outside. Uh, this is the only way in. Yeah, it's just right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then up there's where the, the lava is. Um, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to put the mechanism stuff in here. Oops, I just broke a light. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put the mechanism stuff in here. Uh, like the, the elite factories and all that stuff. And then out this side is where I will put the, the salination thingamadoohickey guy. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But if we fly up and look around... Yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. I, I still gotta finish this guy off. <laughs> like, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the top of it. Like, what I'm gonna do right here. Uh, that turret is not gonna stay there. Um, I'm gonna have turrets, but they're gonna be, like, in strategic places. Uh, they won't be on the outside. They will only be on the inside. And there will be, there will be a few of them. <laughs> I don't want anybody being able to sneak in and, or, or any more. I don't, I don't want people sneaking in anymore. So, yeah. Alright, but I'm gonna go to spawn, uh, get this portal up, and, yeah. Hello, Pengu. Hello, Mr. Pengu. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna head to spawn and get this, uh, portal up. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've had the uh, the digital miner running in uh, <laughs> in that place for a while now, and it's still running. It's sixteen thousand skystone so far, and still going. Um, so I took that time to go ahead, and this is a preliminary kind of walkway tunnel thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I really like this. This is netherrack. Uh, it's just called dark red netherrack, and I think it looks really cool. Um, so this tunnel is kind of a, a catch-22 thing going on here. Uh, it's a tunnel that does lead to something. It just, like, it looks like it doesn't because what it leads to is just ugly as hell. <laughs> Uh, so if we come in here, uh, yeah, <laughs> the Salination Tower. This thing is ugly as sin. So, oh, yeah, I've got a, a way in on both sides. Just, you know, I don't need it, but it's there. Um, and then I have it pumping into this guy. And as you can see, it's going up, uh, slowly. <laughs> uh, but it does go up to the surface, and the solar panels sit just above the surface. And then, you know, the pipes going in and all of that. They they don't look like they connect, but they actually do. Um, yeah, and so I decided to put a tank just to, you know, like, while it's not being used and it's still trying to produce brine, this way it'll, you know, have somewhere to store at least a little bit. And then down here it's just being pumped out into a tesseract, which is being pumped... Do, do, do. Over here, I've got some ME cable run. I've got all this stuff hooked up again. It's this is ugly as hell, but it's hidden, so who cares? <laughs> who cares? Um, but yeah, if we go up top, there's the hole. Uh, and these are like in no particular order whatsoever. It would it probably would have been smarter to put this one and this one over here. Uh, because if we come down here and look, the oxygen is running all over and up. And then this one, which is the hydrogen chloride, uh, it's running over and up. So if I would have put those guys, like, over here, like, maybe shifted this to aim differently, then it would have... But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, these aren't going to be running, like, constantly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I just finished making up some facades, which need to go on these guys. Uh, I've got more making right now, so... <laughs> and then... What -ha? And that's how it sit. It's nice. Very, very nice, very, very nice. And then we need them for this. Very good. Aw, oh, suck it. And then there, there, there. So this, this will look pretty cool if I say so myself. And I do. <laughs> oh, so we need more. Uh, but the idea is like, 
because uh, sometimes I'll just want to crush something. Like if you crush if you crush cobblestone, it becomes sand, and you know. Oh hey. Uh, sometimes I just want to make sand, or maybe I want to make glass, and that's what the smelter's for. This makes glass really really fast. So yeah, that's why I've I, I have it set up this way. Instead of one just leading into the other, into the other, into the other. Um, yeah, because, like, sometimes I'll, I'll want to actually make, you know, some iron ingots or something, and then it'll go, it'll go through the process. It just won't go machine to machine. It'll go machine, M-E, machine, M-E, machine. Um, I don't think it's going to take any kind of longer, because the M-E is really fast. So, yeah. <laughs> And I think that's that's pretty good. Um, we can just fill that one in. Uh, it does look a little weird here, so I may do something like that. I think that'll that'll look okay. We we'll just do that, and then that way it's just like it's a straight shot. Uh, you, I I, I kind of don't like that you can see the side of the machine there, but like if I was to put one of these on it, it would. It would just look actually that's not bad that's not that's not terrible that is not terrible at all I thought I was gonna look bad no that's not bad uh, the interface on the back I don't need to get to uh, it's just the one on the top because uh, this is this will be the input it'll go you know into the machine you go into the here tell it input blah 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 um, and then it'll auto eject to the back yeah, but that's not bad. I mean, it's it's a little small, but I think it I think it's better than seeing the side of the machine there. Um, so let's go get some more of these, some more of these here, guys. Oh yeah, we got lots. <laughs> we got lots. Uh, so yeah, this was my idea for the volcano, because um, these machines needed somewhere to go anyway, and it just kind of works out that. They go in here. And there's room for other stuff if I need to, you know, if I need room for it. But, yeah, and it's completely hidden, except for, like, from the outside, I gotta finish doing these. Like that, like that. Yeah, and then you can't see nothing. It looks just like... It's like a volcano. <laughs> and then that one I don't have to worry about because it's covered by lava. Nice. Yeah, covered by lava, and same with that one. Oop. No, I don't know why that's doing that now. It wasn't doing it before, and now it is. It's really weird. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, get the patterns and all that stuff plugged into these guys, and then probably give it a test run, make sure everything do what it's supposed to do, and then yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I think... <laughs> I think everything is ready. Um, I've, I've been having some trouble with it. Uh, it was my own fault, I guess. Like, I wasn't... I don't know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, if we come in here to Craftable, you'll see the different steps in making some iron. So let's just make a bunch of iron, and then... We'll come over here, and everything should be going. Well, except for that guy, I think there's enough. Yep, yeah, that guy's going. Wait, is it really going to do step by step? Seriously? <laughs> I figured it would have, like, all the machines going at once. But no, it's going to take its time and go to every single machine. One at a time, and then it'll cook it. Once that one over there is done. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Hmm. I wonder why it does that. Like, I want a bunch of iron, and then once that's done, it'll start this again, right? No? Wait. The hell? I told it to... I told it to make me a bunch of iron, and it ain't doing none of that. What is... I don't I don't get what it's doing. 
What is it doing? Huh. Yeah, it's doing that. And then it'll send it to this. Why does it do it that way? That is such a weird way to do it. Why not just have them all going at the same time? I don't... I don't like this. Yeah, that's just that's just a dumb way to do it. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Uh, but we can go ahead and cover all this stuff back up. Uh, yeah, like I say, I was having having a bit of trouble figuring out why it wasn't working because there for a while it just wasn't working at all. At least this way, it's actually working, I guess. Uh, before, I would tell it to make something, and it just would not make it. Like, it just wouldn't do it. Um, well, it was weird. If I told it to do this step only, it would do this step. But if I told it to just make iron ingots, it wouldn't even do this step. Like, it wouldn't do anything. It would just sit there. <laughs> and I don't know why. But this is this is good enough, I guess. Uh, and I do have some other patterns in here, like I got glass there, and then I got... Uh, I forgot that cobblestone actually turns into gravel, so I have the step to turn it into gravel, and then the gravel into sand, and then the sand into glass, and yeah. <laughs> I really don't like the way it's doing this. Why is it doing it this way? I, I wonder if that's a thing with ME, or if that's a thing with... Hmm. Or, yeah, is that a thing with ME or is that a thing with mechanism? Just odd. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just, it's being weird. <laughs> That's, oh, no. I want to go to stored and number of items. But, I mean, it is, it is, it is going up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have 24,000 of that at the moment. Oh, that needs to go out here to keep this thing loaded, because this is just outside. Uh, I have a chunk loader in the direct center of this dome, and it comes to, like, right here. <laughs> Although I guess I could... Nah, I'll just... Because this is, like, the only thing that needs to be loaded right now. And so we'll just go plunk, and we'll go bloop. There we go. That should work. Alright guys, um, I'm going to see about getting some of this lower area down here. Uh, hello? What up, guy? How's it hanging? Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some of that lower area replaced with this uh, Skystone. And I'll be back. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better in white instead of glass. <laughs> Uh, I do still have a bit of glass down here, but I'm like I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate more glass. Um, I was actually kind of thinking about making this white and then this layer here glass, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, and I did miss a piece over here somehow. Like I'm not sure exactly how I missed that, but I did. Uh, so I'll fix that later on. Uh, but yeah, I do think. Like, it looks a lot better. Uh, it looks a ton better than the cobblestone, and a crap ton better than the glass. So, yeah. I like the way it is. I likes it. I likes it. Alright, so, uh, in this volcano... Oh, whoa. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> uh, in this volcano area, um, it was suggested maybe put in some smoldering grass to... Like, help break up the nether rack. And I think that's not a it's not a terrible idea. We might have to might have to try some of that. Um I'm just not sure where. <laughs> Cause I don't want to put too much because I do walk across here. But and then if I use the wand, it's actually going to uh place big squares. So I kinda think I want to uh, do what I do. Basically, what I did with this is I just walked along and just smacked it with the pick, and then just 
and then just placed it. What was that? What was that? I heard something. There was something, there was noise. Is the turret looking at something? You see something, guy? No. No, he seems good. <laughs> That's just, I, I heard something. I uh, know I heard something. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let's see about doing some, uh, something kind of, maybe a little something like that, a little something like that. Uh, I'm at the point, honestly, where I'm <laughs> pretty much done with PvP. Um, I'm not really going after... Oh, that's what it is. It's lag. That's what I was hearing. I... <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not really going after anyone. I'm just like, I want to build and, you know, work on my base and do all that kind of thing. So, um, I think I think everyone's pretty much getting to that point. You know, like, PvP was fun for a while, but then... Yeah, that doesn't... that's really square. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, I guess, just, you know, little bits and pieces of... God, that is really square. Stop it. I don't know, I'm, I, was al I was also kind of thinking about changing out this netherrack for the dark netherrack. This stuff here. I think that would actually look pretty cool. I think it's just, the netherrack is just too... Like, it's, it's just too, like, too much, too much. It's, you know what? I'm going to try it. I should have a bunch of nether rack. So let's try it. If nothing else, I can always change it back. So, oop, nope. Grab, oh, my freaking lag. What the hell? Who's doing what? Um, I'll tell you guys what, I'm going to go figure out what the hell this lag is, and get this netherrack changed out, and I'll be back. Okay, so I, I used up all the smoldering grass I had. Uh, I'm going to have to get some more, but I think it's, I think it actually helps a bit. Uh, the darker red definitely, I think, like, goes better with, like, black. <laughs> uh, the netherrack, I think it was just, I think it was too busy. Um, there was just, like, there's too much going on and now uh, it's it's a bit more subtle and it, it actually looks a bit more like it's darker so it looks darker <laughs> or something um but yeah that's that's gonna be pretty sweet uh, i'll finish it off uh, i'm trying to get like i, I want it to look kind of natural while still looking like it was done on purpose, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I tried doing just little, you know, like patches, uh, like it, like it is in the actual biome where this stuff comes from, and it just, it wasn't looking right. Like so, I started, you know, attaching them, and I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think it, I, I think it looks better. Um, but it, you know, it, it's gonna take some tweaking to, to get where I'm happy with it. Uh, maybe I'll add some, like going up the mountain or something. That might. Like tie it in better, or maybe add some along in, you know, inside there instead of just keeping it on the outside of that. I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for today. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see y'all next time.